everyone, welcome to City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanya Ofori. In the news today, Youth Employment Agency suspends payment of allowances to over 60,000 beneficiaries. We'll tell you why. Stay with us. Now, government has moved its fight against illegal mining activities in the country to another level. Uh, this time, it says it will give permits to owners of excavators. So far, the illegal miners have voluntarily handed over 545 excavators. Uh, additionally, over 1,000 dredging machines have also been moved from the illegal mining site. The Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, John Peter Amewu, told City News Daily that apart from giving permits to the owners of the excavators, security forces will also be deployed to the illegal mining sites to ensure that the illegal miners do not return to the areas. So let's get into the details of our headline story and the Youth Employment Agency, that's YE, has suspended uh, the payment of allowances to over 60 thousand beneficiaries. Why? Uh, the chief executive officer of the agency, Justin Kodia Frimpon, said the new management detected fraudulent activities, one of which included payment of allowances to thousands of unrecruited staff. Uh, the CEO, Mr. Frimpon, told City News Daily that the payment had been suspended for three weeks and investigations have started. The Ministry of Youth and Sport is pushing for the Youth Employment Agency and the Youth Enterprise Support to be moved under the umbrella of the Youth and Sports Ministry. The Ministry explains this is a necessary step towards realigning all pro-youth interventions, policies and programs. For that sector, Payo Hajide said, the current situation where several youth intervention programs have been scattered across several sectors is worrying. Now, two persons have been reported dead while another has sustained injuries uh, in a shooting incident that occurred in a bush between the Inkonya and Alabanyo communities in the Vote region. A report says some unknown assailants fired at five farmers from Inkonya Ahinkro who were returning from their farm. Uh, meanwhile, after an emergency regional security meeting over the latest incident, the Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Achibald Lecha, revealed that government is considering transferring ownership of the disputed land into state ownership. And that will be all for City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanyo Fori. Thanks so much for your time. Second Image International Admissions in Progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us on 0243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available. 